Hello guys, it's another episode of season three on Melon Sugar Podcast. And as always, it's me, your host, Ghetto, and I'm here with the Lolly. So this is episode two, and now we're bringing it back to back. We hope you enjoyed the last episode on sports. So we wanted to do a couple of new things, just experiments. And we are liking the feedback and everything. So on today, without wasting my time, we wanted to dive into a topic. That is the mental state of a person. So a lot, a lot of people around the world sometimes tend to question their mental health or their mental mind. So basically the mental state or or let me say the mental property is just a state of mind of a person so it's it's the person's ability to like think reason um have concise um like take concise decisions um be well and a lot more so i think it's basically just you the normal person you being there you being around people and all that so i get i guess that's where it is delali what do you have to say about this topic because i think i think i think it's a very it's a very um it's a very good topic very important because for me i think everyone has a mental issue if i think everyone has a mental issue irrespective of that irrespective of whatever is happening because i think most people's own it's not up to like just taking the mess and all that so what do you have to say yeah. you know i think yeah you are right as 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 a person there's always a time a time in your life where you you seem to be you know you seem not to be in the right in your right state of mind you know where you are second guessing yourself you you know you you feel inadequate yeah you get it so yeah you, know, you i don't i don't think there is anyone who 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 is always in their right state of mind no because you know you know with how life is there's definitely there, you know there are definitely going to be that uh, there are going to be times where where you would feel something isn't right it's either mm-hmm. you feel you know the way you feel you're not doing enough or you feel you are not enough as a person which i feel is listen i feel it's it's very normal but then it becomes it becomes um it becomes um quote unquote abnormal when you dwell so much on it you get it because listen in as much as you feel or you think you have everything figured out or you think you should have everything figured out there are certain things that just you know you just you you can't you know you can't have it figured out you get it and yeah i I feel it's a very good important it's a very important um, topic that's worth discussing so someone will say how how do i know my mental state because for me if i'm to go over everything that i've learned let me say in uni in like um and was this class like um we we used to have used to have a a, a course i oh shit i forgot the name it was all about like kind of reading 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 your colleague how your colleague is so for me that course i got let me say 30 30 over 100 seriously because there were people who were able to read me very well but i wasn't able to read them and i think one thing that i got to know was that mostly my mood sometimes changes so i can sometimes just be there and i'll just be in a good mood and you could see that like the mood that i you could see that the mood that i am in it has not affected anything like let me say negatively but but once in a while you just see me just flip flop so i 
so I, I remember one time I used to think, okay, I was having like some deranged uh, situation and all that. So I think when we had that course, I was able to like reanalyze a lot, a lot of things about my mental state. And I think for me, one thing that has really, really helped me is to be able to control, like, let me say, my state of mind in a lot of ways because a lot of people don't know how to like control even i even i was reading one article in like the in like the newspapers and it was a piece about let me say a uni uh, a graduate who just um completed uni he he just did his Housemanship, but he was just talking about how depressed he got as a, how depressed he got at a certain point in time, even with doing his housemanship and all that. And he actually said his level of consciousness started to arise. His uh, appearance and general behavior started to decline. So he had that thing that his state of mind become became so harmful to him he didn't know what to do so so that brought me about the question i wanted to ask was so how do i know my my mental state because if you have to go by whatever i just stated now or even with how our everyday today you could just sense that there are most things that like just like the level of consciousness appearance and general behavior speech and speech activity affects and mood and thoughts and perceptions this one you could just say they are not like maybe harmful to just change a person's state yeah. of mind yeah so what, what do you yeah. have to say about because sometimes you know having these topics are more uh, let me say and uh, uh, let me say intriguing it's more deep so what do you have to say you know so let me let me share personal experience mm. this is you know so you know i resigned from my job last last year november mm. then i started my my company early this year so the, the whole process started last year late last year i think i started in december and then it, between january february everything took off when I started, mm. like things were really hard. Like you know, things are not things. Things haven't really like improved so much. But then I think it's better than some months back. When I started, things were hard. Like listen, getting clients is probably one of the most difficult things. And I think I think in a way, it affected my mental state. Yeah. So so you know, at a point in time, I started I started, I started thinking like second guessing myself like yo. Did I really make the right choice? Did I, was it right for me to quit my job? Maybe I should have stayed stayed there for a little longer. And it's you know it's affecting it's, it's affected me so bad. And then what one thing I realized was I I like I I redrew myself for my family. Oh yeah I, yeah yeah. Remember I, I remember not, not talking to my my sister for like for like weeks. And then Whoa. I started reading this book. I started reading the book. I forgot the title. So when I was reading the book, and then it 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 almost looked as if whoever wrote the book was narrating what I was going through at the moment. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Yo!" So it just hit me at that point, like, "Yo, what are you doing? Like, what's happening?" See, I left my my hair. My hair was I I left my hair unkept. My hair was mm-hmm. bushy. I had no. I didn't go to the barber for like six months. So you can just, you can just imagine, and it, it was bad. It was bad. I had to I had to literally, you know, pull myself out of that state. And you know, I, I feel in modern times, what has happened is we have people or the world in general glorifies um, 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 depression and and what's not. I feel sometimes sometimes a pet, an individual has to you know come to realize that listen. Yes, things are happening to you. You you are not getting the best out of yourself, or a lot of things are not working out for you. But then, listen, we live to fight another day. If today didn't work out, def- there's tomorrow, right? Yeah. You just have to wake up, re-energize, different strategy, and you know, 
take the you know take the the, the, the bull by its horn hit the road do something you know personally so when I, when I came to the village that listen I, I was going through something I had to I had to do something myself because I don't I don't think I I, I didn't I didn't have the finances to to seek for professional help or some from, from someone I I can't go through therapy or something cuz let's say even going through therapy you have to pay yeah and already my business suffering I need money mm-hmm. so I had to I had to, you know I had to do something myself I started reading books I started exercising you know I started talking to people cuz personally I I'm not really you know I'm not really outgoing like I don't have a lot of friends so a lot of times I'm a lot of times I'm I'm more by myself. I had to you know I had to start socializing. I had, I, started, I started making friends. I started talking to people, random people. And you know yo it it's really helped me. It 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 did. It did. You know the, the mind the mind is 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 a, it, it, it's very strong. And and you know it can either it it can it can affect you positively or negatively a lot of people there are people who are in the, who are in the, who are in the psychiatric who are battling you know you know who are battling psychologically their mental state is, is is isn't in the right place at the moment and some of these people they are not really mad though. it's not like it's not like they are, they are not they are not totally mad they mm. they just you know, they just need assistance or they themselves you know have to come to realization that yo like i'm facing something and and sometimes some of these things you would have to you know drag yourself out of it yourself you, no one can do it for you you know there are some people that that's why there are people who who pay so much to um to them and um, and um, therapists and um, to their therapist or to a psychologist or something go through therapy for years and nothing changes it's But, because a lot of times yeah, yeah, they, they, sure. they don't put in the personal efforts Yes, yeah. you need to put in your personal efforts. Yes, your your your, your psychiatrist or your um, psychologist is doing his or her part. But then also you yourself to what are you really are you really putting the work? Are you are you you know trying the effort to you know take yourself out of that state of mind? You get it? Yeah. But for me, I think paying like going to a therapist and just paying is a lame duck solution. <laughs> Yes, it's a lame dark solution because most people, I think they're rich, who, who can afford. But if you are just a middle, a middle income person or a, just a, a poverty person, just try this trick. You have a phone, start recording, just talk. Just talk like, just go inside a room, just talk for like 30 minutes about yourself what you want to change when you want to do something just play it back to yourself and i think it works because a friend of mine who lives in um london i think his mom died last two years and his just after a month he lost his brother and one of the, one of the things that he said that really really struck me was It got to a time he couldn't even uh, when he just watch the mirror or when or or even if he sees his reflection he looks like someone else so <laughs> so so what so one thing that he told himself was because for like a whole year he has not gone out can you do that yo that's wow a whole year he has not gone out and for him he has that skill he can just baba himself and all that he was just indoors so so unfortunately for him his neighbors got to know so i think one time they called i think they said they have one of they called uh, the police or something like the mental health line or something and i think one of them called him and he was just explaining everything and close to like five hours on the phone and i'm like no nah, not here because here yeah, no one will even no no sorry no one will even and uh, be be talking to you for straight five hours <laughs> like that no 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 one will do that and he's like he had he called he had 
the talk and all that but still it didn't work so he actually had that brilliant new idea just to just um sit down um be in a cozy area and just talk and he was just telling himself whatever he didn't want to hear i think that's something that really really worked for him and for now if you had to see yeah. him he's not that good or okay but you could see that he's going back to how he used to be and all that and i think sometimes for him he thought it was just um a normal process for him to just go off so thankfully for him his mental state was just i would say it wasn't it wasn't harmful or it has not gotten into being so harmful or like extreme his own was just he just had he just wanted something to just kick in him and i think when he got it he was okay and i think this thing happens to a lot of people so maybe our listeners anyone listening i think it is one of like the most common thing that really really happens to people so i think for me if you have to ask a mental health advice for me seriously i'm seriously for me i'm not a professional because for me what i'll be telling you is just listening to music because for me I'll just say music just heals me because sometimes I might be just listening to songs that you won't you won't you won't download on your phone yeah. or you won't stream. So sometimes when um I'm down or something at work, I can just be streaming and all that. And I think a colleague of mine will just be watching my my playlist and he'll be like where am I getting this song from? And I'm like, oh yeah, you don't know. But I think one of the one of the let me say one of the artists that I think her her music heals is Enya. I don't know if you know Enya. 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 Have you seen the lady that the lady that song? Um, I think most people they use her her songs a lot for like sorrow sorrow thing. And oh, what's, oh, 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 I forgot. She has one, she has one song that's very, very popular. Uh, uh, uh what, what is this? It goes like, uh, la da da da, uh, da 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 da, something, something. It's just like she has that, she what? has that kind is of she thing. Ghanian? No, she's not Ghanaian, she's, I think, Norwegian or. I think she'll be Norwegian or, okay. or Swedish or something. Yeah, she yeah she has that. Oh, her song is quite popular. You you, you sometimes when when they are doing that kind of um, outreach thing, they play they play her her popular songs a lot. Yeah, and for me, I okay. think uh, so. For me, I never knew she had like other songs. And those are that songs I think really really help a lot because I actually requested that thing and I told and I just gave it to a friend and now my friend now he's just listening to it so I don't know you guys you can just check it out and yeah so yeah and you know what what I've come to realize is you, you, I think the society now puts a lot of pressure on people people you know especially young people so yeah. you, you know you find young people under so much pressure that a lot of times they don't we don't we don't even realize so before you know you've snapped that you know then and the funny thing is it's after you have snapped that people realize that you're going through a lot which is quite unfortunate you know there's this you know, there's this pressure on pe- young people to you know to be successful to be accomplished and you know, yeah you know, with all these things you know, you know and it's not easy that's the thing people don't realize that it's not easy it see it's my life is very hard it's very hard it's very hard you know? and it's very and very depressing me, i'm telling you it's very you know so for me one of the things that actually helped me was prayers yo listen <laughs> some way somehow i just became prayerful like <laughs> really? i started like i started praying 
see i started praying and it it, it felt so good because f- personally i haven't really been prayer for for you know, for the past years I, yes i go to church here and there but i don't really pray like that like sometimes listen i can go i used to go like months without really praying i mm. go to bed i wake up that's it but then i started praying and it felt really good like it felt really good like i pray and then it's like my my day is made like i i i go through the day without stress and, and you know and you know it 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 brought me some you know some level of peace i don't yeah. know i don't know if it's because i i don't know if, i don't know if it was because i felt well now my burdens were being taken care of or had been taken care of i don't know but then there was you know there, there, there was you know there, there was something about it that whenever i prayed i felt at ease mm. i don't know people you know someone people should try that too because for me it's it's really helped me you know you know how it's like you're carrying you're carrying your own burdens yeah and then all of a sudden all of a sudden someone you know someone um offers to help you you are carrying some heavy load and it's more like oh, oh bro let me you know you are you know you are suffering let me let me help you carry this and then you you have loaded and you know you know you know the kind of like peace and ease brings it brings it brings to you you go like ah as long last that's how it actually felt whenever mm. i prayed i i felt really good i felt i felt at ease i felt light i felt like a burden had been lifted off me and yo it 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 helped me you know someone people should try that too because for me yo it worked for me and i mean I'm, i'm just grateful to god that at least things are not as bad as they used to mm. you know Yeah. Oh, people don't realize that uh your your mind your your mind is probably like the most important of your entire being because everything begins from the mind if if the mind if the mind isn't 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 in the right state you can't really do anything because you won't even feel like it you get it and then I just I just feel sometimes the society would you know you know cut us some slack they should understand that yo like people are going through it yeah true people are going through it but you should know that sometimes when it gets to some stage it becomes so like so uh, let me say exhausting so like so seriously because for me I've Seriously, when I started this podcast, let me say something. When I started this post podcast, I when I started So when I started this podcast, a lot of things were not let me say going on. I was having a lot to do at work and that time I had just finished um my national service so i can just come home and with the stress at work and everything because you might not know if you will be unemployed if you'll be employed or whatever so i think yeah. one thing that really really helped me was when um when i was having like i was going through like the most pivotal parts of my life i was able to just reimagine myself regain a lot of things and i think that's something a lot of people are not able to do because people sometimes find it very very hard so they tend to take in like drugs to just keep whatever uh, feeling that they are having to just let that let me say let that um that pain or whatever that emotion just subdue but i think for me and you i think we are very very lucky because for us we are not able to just go to like extreme because for me like i know my head but for me like i know my mental health 
I know that it's positive, everything is okay, all right. So when I'm even not getting in the right form or something, I make sure I kick I make sure I kick in my brain must work, my brain must stay focused. But a lot of people sometimes find it very, very hard, and that's very, very, very just depressing. Like very, very sad, very, very sad because that's true mm, very very sad because you, you, know, so you can just see it at our workplaces and everywhere because for me yeah. at my workplace there are a lot of people you know this person his or her mental health is not really really good like a lot of things is going on but they are very guilty to admit it and i think the first thing to healing yourself is just admitting you have a sickness mental health yes. is a sickness it's not something that you just let me say um die or something or you, it's just having just being real to yourself you have it you are not seriously we're just being we're just identifying it early and just having solutions to it could be better for you could be better for your friends and family but people tend to just stick it to themselves then when it just evaporates they don't know what to do and they are just going about doing all crazy crazy stuff so you know and then also I've, I, one thing i've come to i've come to realize a lot of, what the reason why the reason a lot of people don't admit it when when they are going through um psychological emotional trauma is people don't really assess themselves yeah personally a lot of times what i do is i i self-assess myself like i i look at myself i look at what i have done in the past you know in the past month or weeks what i'm doing now um, how 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 my life or my 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 decisions or my actions you know have affected people and all that so i look at all that and i, I, I you know i ask myself questions yo are you are you in the right state of mind are you okay do you feel you are being do you feel productive you know all that people people don't do that you get it so even when they're going through something they don't even know because you know how would you know? if if you don't know how you you function when you're 100 percent, how would you know if you're not functioning properly yeah you get yeah, it i don't know yeah. i don't know if, if i'm making sense oh yeah you are making sense if, if, if 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 i know when i'm functioning at full capacity this is how i act or react then when something when, when something is falling short or when something when something isn't going right i i would know i i, I would feel it because you know you you know that you know, it looks as if it looks as if i'm not I'm, i don't i don't feel myself you get it i don't feel i don't feel 100 percent. i don't i don't feel like my usual self you get but then people don't you know people don't do all that they don't they don't really assess themselves and uh, yo like it's, be accountable to yourself first That's but you should know account- but you should know one thing that the reason why people are not assessing yourself is because of their stereotypes because for me i've for some time now i've been just digging my let me say my neighborhood their kids so if you see that most of them that have just finished high school or just even entering into college or, or college or university you see they have a mindset of their own they just want to just go and just yeah. relieve that culture like that gen z culture that they are in you could see yeah. yeah so 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 like so like like with that it comes with it comes with re, just like re, re, real estate engineering your mind, your state. So, yes. so you could see that. So you could see that. For me, I've just noticed something about one guy. He lives like two, let me say, two, three houses from my. He has totally changed. His everything has just changed. His, let me say, his persona non grata or something i think his mandulo blagata has changed his every his behavior has just changed drastically and he can just talk with you for just like you can just have a normal conversation with him then 
he just changes his mood changes but that person if you tell him that his mental status is negative or maybe a hey, sorry it's positive he told you that no he told you that nah it's not it's good but for you the outsider just let me say the third person just viewing him you could know that now nah, this this guy this person state is so worrisome and that's why i think most people around us or around the world uh let me say having it difficult with their friends their brothers or something yeah Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I, yes, it's actually very true. That is, that is it's a very true, very true. And you know the thing with, especially with this Gen Z people, this they kids, are crazy. You see, these these kids, they are crazy. And and they don't you know, they are not they listening are to crazy. anyone. They are they crazy. Don't to they are crazy. And I listen. I find I find it I find it worrisome. I I I don't know, but I I feel bad for them in a way for because me, when I you look at when you look at the statistics. Oh, me I feel bad for them because me, when you look at the stats, they are actually the ones. They are the ones going through a lot of. They are, they are the ones going through the depression. They are the they are the ones going through the depression the most. Yeah. Because a lot of times, a lot of times. They, they they put unnecessary pressure on themselves mm. unnecessary pressure Absolutely. unnecessary like you you would find a very young person who who is probably still in school instead of just focusing on being in school they 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 want to blow they like yo they they want to they want to have all the finest things in life and see it's not bad it's it's not bad when when you have everything figured out when you when you you have you, you know you you know you know where to get your funding from where you know if you have everything figured out and you have a, a supportive family that's fine oh but then if you know one you don't have you don't really have um, any solid support system secondly uh, second, secondly you, you have no pressure on you you have no burden on you no one is is pressuring you to you know to 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 to, to to do the extraordinary, and, you know, you don't you don't have to you know go through the you know the the trouble of um, figuring everything out at once. It's a step at a time. But Most people don't them, understand it's that. A it's a step at a time. time. One step they just at want a time. the trouble for themselves. Yeah. They, they, they move they, from step one yes. to ten. Yeah. Hey. For them, they yeah, see listen. that. The more the trouble, the more they are able to just relieve their life and everything. You know, you know, you know. Listen, listen. Advice for anyone that is going through mental um, um, depression or, or, or going through some emotional stress, mental stress. Listen, relax. Wherever you are right now. See, they can't relax. relax. They listen, can't we are relax. giving you, we are giving, you, see, we are giving you free, 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 free um, therapy session. Oh, this yeah. one is free. You, you are not paying. Yeah, like, we are giving it to you free because we we cherish you and we love you. You understand? So this one we are giving it to you free. Listen, relax. Put the world on stop. Not to be impossible. Stop it. Stop. Put the water and stop. Sit down. Assess yourself. You know, ask yourself questions. Honestly, some of you, you don't want. You know, you don't want to. When people, you know, when people ask you the questions, you you get you get mad. You become angry. You become agitated. So now, ask yourself the questions. You know, ask yourself how you are feeling. How 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 you how you 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 you, you felt some months back or a year back and then ask yourself if it's still the same has something changed you know has your behavior affected people positively or negatively has it affected you personally has it affected you positively or negatively have you have you lost touch with yourself you need to ask yourself all these questions then after that if listen if you ask yourself these questions and you are sincere you are honest with yourself then you realize that there's something wrong with you then from there you take 
the necessary measures or steps you know steps to picking yourself up you know steps to getting your life back on track Mm. Mm. put pressure yourself you know to to come out of it or to get out of it mm. you take a Listen, start listening to music, start praying because it means it's helped me. So maybe you can also try it. But I me, mean, it's helped you. Start praying, start talking to God. You understand? But some of these, listen, some of these burdens or some of these weights on, on you, you, you can't live them by yourself. <laughs> you need help. You yeah. need help. So sometimes you pray to God, you know, to bring help from somewhere because, you know, God, sometimes God won't come Himself. He would have to use someone else. You understand? So you pray to God to bring in the right people to help you, you know, to connect you to, to the right people. You understand? Mm. Uh huh. Another, 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 another testimony. This is this is oh. like a testimony. Wait, 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 so wait, when wait, I started wait, praying, wait, wait, wait. the lady, let's yeah, let's just be, let's, yeah. There's a time right here. Time is running. So yeah. let's listen, just listen. do like let's just end it. Then we will do uh, just a five minutes and just. Uh, add it to it so so let's just end this episode it. yeah so well so how, many, wait, how many minutes do we have we have only one minute so let's just oh. wrap it up let's let's just end it <laughs> then we'll just do just a five minute thing and you just upload it to it so with everything that said sure. from our therapist you could just you see today today's today's episode you just got free ter- you just got a free therapist session with the one and only Delali. So just take it cool, just take it easy. <laughs> Everywhere you are around the world, just be your, just take it cool. Just you, you can see whatever we just talk about. Everyone has a positive state. It's, it, so you just have to let it kick in. So as much as we like to say, like say thank you to everyone. Just take a time to enjoy melon sugar. See you same time next week. Peace out.